What's going on? John from the Game Duo here, hitting you with another update video. Obviously, this one does not have as much somber connotation as the other one did, because this is definitely a trending up scenario. Uh, as you know, today is the day that I start my new job. I'm recording this the day before. I'm going to go right the heck to sleep after this so that I can have a solid amount of time to sleep. But the reason why I'm making this update video is because I'm trying to, th I'm just going to let you know that things aren't going to be as polished as they have been in the past. And I know that it really hasn't been polished since the hit and run. So like it kind of, my channel kind of looks like the freaking scramble. Um, but I'm here to tell you that things are going to get better. Things are improving. I am getting to a spot where, and I'm slowly working to the spot where we could potentially have a consistent schedule. Um, like I said, I start my new job tomorrow, um, but I have two jobs because I still have the other job. Um, and so, for example, today I am working from 8 to 4 and then 6 to 12. But I also, you got to keep in mind the commute hours and physical therapy that I'm going through from the hit and run. It's a lot. And, but that's fine because I'm here to help you guys out. Now, with the whole scenario about the working, because Coles has weekend, like, times and stuff like that, like where they work on the weekends, there will be some days where I can sit in both record videos and I would love to do that but what does that mean realistically it means that live streams are going to be down considerably um and as much as I would or either that or you'll see a more solid mix of content as far as live streams and videos go both won't be consistent. It's going to have to have a give. There are, There is going to have to be a give in place at this current moment. Obviously, that is subject to change, however, in January, depending on what really happens and what I decide I'm going to do after this week. I mean, I guess really it's more February that it, you'll see the bigger shift and stuff. But, I mean, we got through a hit and run together. We got through a lot. Of stuff together and I honestly think that this I mean this is what I'm dedicated to clearly I've been doing this for seven goddamn years so if I wasn't dedicated I wouldn't be here right now so I'm dedicated I want to hang out with you guys I want to figure out stuff with you guys now Obviously, with the way this is going to work and the way that I'm seeing this at the moment, as January rolls around and I pretty much secure my weekends only, if I, you know, if a thousand different factors. Basically, I have weekends only in January. Right now, I don't. But in January, I will. And of course, of course my full-time job won't be weekends only. It's literally Monday through Friday, 6.30 to 2.30. But I get home at 4.00. Which means that I can set up a stream and get everything set up by 4.30. Which means we could have these 4.30 to 7.30 live streams and get everything set up and ready. And then I can record videos and like things can be more fluid. But December is going to be a hard month as there's going to be a lot of days where I'll have 14 hour days. I will be polling 70 hours a week. I have to sleep too. I have to do a whole bunch of stuff. I also have a two hour, two plus hour commute. So let's say that's like, let's say two and a half hours. That is 16 and a half hours of my day that is dedicated to work. Where's sleep involved? What about YouTube? What about all this stuff? This is the stuff that I've been deliberating in my head. And I, the solid solution I have for you right now is that the days that I will not be working at Kohl's will be the days that I will be recording. The days that I will not be working at Kohl's will be the days that I'll be live streaming. Basically, what this means is that half of the days that I am working at Kohl's are not working at Kohl's, and half the days that I are going to be dedicated to recording, and the other half is live streamings, which means 
schedules will have to change. Everything's going to have to change. We're going to figure out everything else. There are some series that I have in the works that definitely are going to have some priority. Um, but the biggest thing is, is I need you guys to stick with me. Because once January rolls around, bitch, we are out here. We need to make this push to 600 subscribers. We need to hit that. That would be a freaking hell of a Christmas present. But, I mean, imagine me streaming during a peak time. Joy, I know you're talking. I know you're probably here right now. Imagine me streaming at 7.30 your time. 7.30 EST. Like, that is actually a decent hour. Aaron, I know you're probably watching too. Imagine us getting being able to freaking record at 7 your time. And not having to have you make the sacrifices that you have done for KJOC to be as amazing as it is. You've made a ton of sacrifices for this content because of my schedule being a piece of garbage, as well as, you know, other factors, but my schedule being a piece of garbage, you were still there. Like, you got to give props to Aaron because this series could have been a lot more wonky than it was. I know that we missed a month. We can blame that on hit and run. Like, that's literally the only reason we missed a month. But, like, literally, Aaron has stood there. He has literally done, like, one in the morning recordings when he had had to work the next day. Because he's dedicated to this. And I just, I have to say thank you to that. But, like, imagine that, Aaron. 7.30, which means we would be done with our recording session at, like, 9 your time, 10 your time. You actually could get a decent amount of sleep because we wouldn't have to do stuff. Papa, imagine 4 o'clock. I mean, it's, like, 6 CST. So you'd have, I mean, th that's the only, like, scheduled conflict that him and I, him and I are going to have to work that out because I don't really know what that's going to entail for everything else. We haven't worked it up, but imagine having a solidary schedule. Friday and Saturdays, where I wouldn't have to worry about when I'm getting home, and I could literally be like, Papa, ready? Let's get this going. We got this. Because, I mean, Soul Link's only two episodes a week. Which really means we only need an hour of time to record both episodes, and then it becomes the editing. So having that solid base, solid foundation, I would say like an hour and a half, just in case. Still, but that solid foundation, that solid ground... Having a solid ground is going to be amazing. And any other YouTubers that want to collab with me will have the freaking comfort in knowing the exact time that I will be available every day. The exact time that you can hit me up and say, hey, do you want to record? And knowing that availability, that time the amount of time that is going to be available is huge this it's just feeling more and more real right the fact that i will have a solid consistent schedule the fact that you guys will be able to receive content the fact that you guys know that i can be consistent we have shown that over the years and years and years of grinding on this channel that I will be here for you. And, like, yeah. And I can literally set a predefined time that we're going to do stuff. Now, what we're going to do? Who knows? The future holds a lot in, state, in store. But what I do know is between every single creator that I have worked with, having, having at least one person with a solid schedule is the best thing that can happen for us creators. The very best thing about having a stable driving force in a collaborative project and it's the one thing that us small creators don't have. Pop.
Papa has a pretty consistent schedule. But he's really the only one in this entire community that I know, at least, that has an, a consistent schedule. And it is shown. Papa has been and be in is consistently becoming the largest channel in our community, in our small PokeTube community. He has a schedule. He has everything built out. He has it. But he also puts in the freaking work with his time. Does Papa have all the time in the world? Oh, hell no, he doesn't. If Papa had all the time in the world, Papa would already be at 100k subscribers. Let's be fall. Let's be freaking honest with that. But still, he's. That is. I will be the second person in our community with an actual consistent schedule. Now, am I bashing anybody in the community? Oh, no. Freaking Cypher, Tolfa, Karai have all put in and dedicated work as well. Chillin has dedicated work. Freaking people have dedicated the time to become and be where they are. Quick GG, another example of somebody who has put in some work to get to where he's at right now. But obviously none of us are full-time YouTubers. Would we love to be full-time YouTubers? Oh, frick yeah. I think anybody would want to be a full-time YouTuber. But honestly, this channel having a consistent schedule is probably going to be, to be the best thing that happens. And 2020 is going to be the freaking year. 2020 has a very good outlook on what's happening. 2020 could be the year of being able to be full-time and being able to literally do the thing that I love the most, and that is to entertain you guys, to be there for you guys, and to just be a good-natured person. And I am ready for this year. It is almost here. And... I just can't be more happy with what's happening. There's going to be a lot of fun that happens in 2020. 2020 is going to be probably and hopefully my best year on YouTube. Now, obviously, shit hits the fan. But I think that 2020 is going to be my best year on YouTube ever. 2019 has been a very solid year. Ever since Sparks. Yes, the man Sparks discovered me. Sparks brought Karai and Culpa and other people. Karai and Culpa initiated Trilink and wanted to collaborate with me and initiated the Sun Trilink. Now, obviously, we weren't really ready for that. I don't... As much looking back on it, but they initiated it. They said, hey, let's do a collab. Let's get something together. We got this. And honestly... That just kicks everything up and kicks everything out. <clears throat> we learn from everything. We've learned a whole ton. During Trilink, I think, honestly, not going to lie, <clears throat> Trilink <clears throat> taught me a freaking lot. It really did. I'm not going to lie. The working process of Trilink taught me a ton about having a consistent schedule and like, not having to worry about everything else. Like, there were so many factors in Trilink that happened. And the problem was all three of us did not have any form of a consistent job or consistent time frame to do anything. So if one person has a consistent time that they can do anything, that's going to change everything. In a three-person collab, being able to be that rock, it's just going to be amazing. And honestly, I'm excited for it and can't wait to see what happens. I love all the creators that I mentioned in this video. Jonas, if you're listening, love you. Keep up the good work. Get to 600 before I can. Because we all know it's going to happen. You deserve it. And everybody... Just deserves really what they got. They honestly, everybody deserves more than what they have. I, I feel like. I think I. 
I'm okay with where I'm at because you guys have helped me out so much. I mean, I was at like 300 subscribers when I joined the community. We're at 500. What am I supposed to do? Like, we're at five, basically 525. And you guys honestly have been there. You guys have shown me what I can do and really got me uplifted. You guys did a lot for me and I appreciate it. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to go to bed. I have to wake up in about six hours, seven hours. Um, so I can actually get a decent amount of sleep. I need it. I know I do. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I love you all. And I hope you guys have a great day. Because you guys all deserve it. This video is going to go up in the morning. So that I can see your comments while I'm on lunch. It's, it's going to go up at like 6am guys. Which is 9am for some of you guys. But I love you all. And I hope you guys continue to have the greatest day of 2019. Let me know in the comments what you think my plan is. And how good my plan is. I want to know and I want to hear from you guys what you guys have to say. Please watch the entire video. So that we can get this out there. So we can show people that 2020 is going to be our year. Love you all. PokeTuber community. Peace out, guys.